So, I coming back from work. I have Wednesdays and Thursdays off. I work Saturdays and Sundays. This is the status of my knee. It's even more it's even more swollen than it was. I'm not sure if I, if I got a good picture of it. I'll do it again. And it hurts like a motherfucker. Although I think that it's hurting because they keep shocking it with every step that I take. They do that, they can make you limp both in a painful way and a not so painful way. But this one is extremely painful. I'm feeling electrical shocks like a motherfucker on my knee. I can do this with my hand. And now my hand hurts. And there's somewhat of a pain, a reduction in pain in my knee. But they're attacking it from multiple angles or they're going, ooh, you know, not really sure which. Um, and just the brightness here. So, this is me walking, hobbling along. They're reducing the shocks a little bit. I'm able to walk a little bit more, a little bit less pain, but still extremely painful. Every single time I've been bend my knee or take a step. And before making this video, they said we're going to reduce the, uh, the shocks a little bit, maybe entirely, because then you start walking normally and your dad's watching you with a private investigator and then he'll just think that you're making that up for a YouTube video once you start walking normally again. <sighs> that is not my paranoid brain. Those are people trying to make me paranoid, knowing that it doesn't make me paranoid and just being evil, asinine, jackass, stupid motherfuckers. So, again, Dad, I am in Intown Suites, the same very hotel where I stayed for two weeks last year, a little over about roughly a year ago. I'll have to look at the dates of the YouTube videos that I took. But you can search on my channel. You can put gang stalking, tip, and me. Or you can watch my YouTube channel trailer just by going to my channel and looking at the trailer. And in the pain section of that, which I think is the first section, uh, you will see two clips from two different videos that I made last year that I sent you a lot of details on, Dad. And I know that one of them was a long, one or two of them were a long video, but they wouldn't have to be so long if you listened to any one of them with, you know, putting on your listening ears, as Judge Judy would say. In the first video clip, I demonstrate that I can feel the shocks with my hand when I hover my hand around my knee. And I also demonstrate that the shocks had just started, and I started the video because the gang stalkers, via voice to skull, which is a communications technique that police have, uh, particularly the SWAT team, that's been around for 60 years. <laughs> and which allows them to communicate with terrorists or victims or potential victims in a hostage or crisis scenario, which they never get to use in Austin, maybe one day out of the year, maybe one day every two years. So they want to use them like every day of the year. Unless this is a more complicated thing where it's the CIA or you know, nearby military base or the company that makes these things that's testing them out and a sort of mind control slash body control thing. But I don't want to sound too much like a conspiracy theorist because I never was one. And this isn't like a conspiracy with regards to me in particular. There's nothing special about me as far as like why they pick me. They just go around spying on people, looking in houses, treating us like we're Sims from the Sims game. And then subliminally, and with others not so subliminally, fucking with them. Making people schizophrenic that aren't schizophrenic. Making people have uh, thoughts that are forced into their head, which you can do to voice the skull devices. Magicians and mentalists have been using it for a few decades now uh, in magic tricks where they pretend to pick numbers from people's brains or they have people use think of words or concepts or phrases or numbers to use in a magic trick most mentalist tricks use voice to skull they have any type of concept of having a person think of things or having a person take a particular choice of action you know whether box one or box two they can subliminally control them as to which you know thing they're going to pick, which item they're going to pick, which box they're going to pick, which hat they're going to pick, which number they're going to think of, which uh, color they're going to think of, blah, 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 blah. So 
The police are using this to fuck with people and to like trap them on a schizophrenic like radio station that's man-made and to drive them insane and to drive them towards hurting themselves and hurting other people. And the victims are then left in a desperate self, uh, need to try to avoid self-help, but then their relatives and friends betray them and keep them in that desperate position where self-help uh, slowly or quickly becomes a more attractive option to the victim. And self-help could include, you know, an escalation that I vehemently refuse to do, never thrown a punch at anyone in my entire life, or it could be something like suicide, which I've never been suicidal, but then they, I can totally understand why someone would take their own life because of this. So, Dad, you're doing nothing but causing more suffering on top of what the terrorists that you aid and support are doing. And I say that you aid and support because you're not doing anything but aiding and supporting them and protecting them over your own son. It doesn't matter whether or not you believe me or not, you are doing that. The odds of me at In Town Suites, roughly a year later from when my left knee was swollen, which was threatened in advance, which I documented on video right as it started happening and then documented the major swelling of my knee later that day. And now I have since documented in several videos that you haven't watched, Dad, which I guess I'm gonna have to spend hours and hours and hours going through the last month or two months of videos just so I can clip out the times when I mentioned that they threatened to swell up my knee again. This time they chose the right knee, although they've been threatening the left knee and hitting it occasionally, like when I'm out having a cigarette blah 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 or when I make a YouTube video and I mention that threat and they will always do it again during that period of time which is not a psychosomatic thing it's not in my head and again I have witnesses that have felt the shocks to my body aimed at my feet and and felt the shocks uh, that were hitting other people as well who went on record with a Travis County sergeant along with another victim and, and me who uh, were interviewed independently from each other individually and we all gave supporting statements again electrocution is not a mental illness again I've tried at least three different medications for schizophrenia dad that would have had an effect on a real schizophrenic person by the time I chose not to renew my prescription for them or by the time <laughs> that I woke up after being forcibly sedated with Thorazine and God knows what other fucking things they did one drug of which causes a uh, which is sometimes used in surgery to prevent people from having memories should they wake up during surgery. So it causes you to have a uh, less of a chance of storing things in your memory. So even if you woke up in the middle of a surgery or after being forcibly sedated, then it would be very hard for you to recall that memory um, by yourself or even if, even if it was triggered by someone mentioning it, you probably still wouldn't remember it because that, that drug that they gave me at least one time causes the inability to store memories. And maybe that's Thorazine, but I think it's another drug, but I'm not really sure. So I'm back at the hotel. It shouldn't take this long for me to get here. It normally just takes about less than 10 minutes for me to get here, and it's probably taking me about, well, I've done this video for eight, eight minutes and 45 seconds. So I guess it would normally take me like seven minutes to get here. And uh, I think it's taken me about closer to 15 minutes. But I'm not really sure about that. Maybe not quite that bad, but, but I'm in pain. And you're aware of it, Dad. And you're aware that I'm in pain every single moment of every single day. I woke up with him attacking my knee. Can you imagine like trying to go to sleep, getting your private parts zapped, getting your butthole zapped, and getting your balls zapped, and getting your dick zapped? getting internal organs zapped and pushed and, 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 and squished around, um, having your back pounded upon, having your feet shocked at the same time, having your feet burned and or frozen at the same time, having your feet vibrated at the same time in addition to the electrical shocks, and then having like your head and or your, your hands and or your stomach and or legs, getting zapped, vibrated, burned, frozen, blah, 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 while you're continuously being mocked, dehumanized, and demoralized. <laughs> this is a fucking nightmare. 
And so I'm hoping now I'm gonna take Max out for a walk and clean up any mess that he made. Try to get in a better mood, but I've been waiting on a rescue for over three years, Dad. I mean, I've given up on you, but you can't keep ignoring this. Not that you're ever gonna watch this video. And if you do, you'll take great offense to that. Like, when did your feelings, when did you get butt hurt so easily and offended so easily? Like, you've never been someone whose feelings were hurt that easily. And now all of a sudden they are. Perhaps you're getting gang stalked, Dad, which is, a, which is a strong possibility. Because again, there's no way that it is possible, except with a high degree, such a high degree of improbability that it's virtually impossible for you to have told me over the phone the day after Thanksgiving of 2016, not knowing where I was coming from, mentioning the same, walking the same path that you walked probably 12 years before that, maybe longer ago than that, and mentioning the hotel Hampton Inn where you got coffee at, as I immediately looked up within a split second of hearing you say that at the Hampton Inn sign, uh, which I was half a block away from. The odds of that happening are virtually impossible.